What's that? Learned it about a week ago. Okay, tell me what you learned. Fish, water, plants, self-sustainable. All right, uh, so what type of organism uh, can we can we grow in aquaculture? Give me examples of different types of uh, life that are grown in an aquaculture environment. Hmm? Trout? Uh-huh. Any other? Goldfish, koi, mm -hmm. tilapia. I heard some over here. Carp, carp. All right, so those are all different types of fish. Besides fish, what else is grown in aquaculture? Fruit, plants, vegetables, fruits. Right. So that's like in um, in aquaponic systems, we're growing the uh, the plants and the vegetables and the fruits. Uh, but furthermore, in aquaculture, we grow different types of shellfish. What types of shellfish are there? Crawfish, shrimp, crabs. Yeah, so we're growing that. Um, your oysters, your clams, and your pearls, um, lobster. Mm -hmm, that's another shellfish. So there's a lot of different types of. Um, aquatic life that we can grow in aquaculture. And uh, here at Port Valley, we're growing mostly tilapia. All right, so, um, so one form of aquaculture is um, aquaponics. So we familiar with aquaponics? OK, so what is aquaponics? What is aquaponics, Corey? <laughs> Exactly. So, give them a round of applause. Good job. Um, so, yeah, so aquaponics is you're growing your fish and your plants together, and uh, it's, it's symbiotic, and so the fish are creating what for the plants? Mm -hmm. And the plants are doing what for the fish? Okay. So, that's what we're going to see out back, and so. Uh, Split up in the app. We have questions. All right. So look. Keep it up. Okay. All right. So we're going to see out back here. Okay. So we're going to split up. Any other questions? All right. So we're going to split up in half, and we'll go out back, and we'll see what's going on around. Here. fish from Africa. Oh. You eat it a lot. Any guesses? Uh, tilapia? Exactly, tilapia. tilapia. Alright, so what's going on is the, like, the fish water is fertilized from the fish. It's being pumped up down here and it's um, trickling out of these tubes. And then it's going down a gutter and then the have these plants. Uh, you know, the plant roots are sucking up the nutrients from the from the water. Uh, do we know what type of plant this is? Rosemary. Uh, yes, it's a rosemary plant. I don't know if you can smell it. But uh, so then after that the water is just dropping down to the bottom and back to the to the fish tank. Okay? So this is a small example of aquaponics. Uh, over here is an example of a recirculating system. So what's going on is the water is being, it's going through a, a sediment tank, it's going through a biofilter, 
and then it's going into the sock, and it's just being recirculated over and over again. Okay? This is a, um, a populist. A populist from South America. He's in a Toronto family, and uh, he's special to us because he likes to eat fruits and vegetables. So, uh, so like throughout the summer, you're eating peaches, watermelon. Uh, nowadays, you like to eat grapes and bananas. Okay? So his name is Gil. He's like our mascot here. But uh, he's a special fish. Um, also in this tank, we have a, a floating a, aquatic plant. Um, anybody familiar with this? Hmm? Um, Kind of like algae, but it's a little different. Is it? I'll show you a video of it. Yeah, I know. We know it. We know it. All right. It's um, an animal. Um, let's say ducks like to eat it. And it's considered a weed in some parts of the country. No, you guys are thinking of a Zula. This is. Oh, it's not that. No, it's not a Zula. <laughs> okay, okay, it's very similar to a, to a, a Zula, a Zula Zula. This is. But this is a duck. Step, step, step. Another example of an aquaponic system is just a little bit larger than the one you saw in the other room. So on this half we have uh, tilapia in the tank. On this other half we have koi in the tank. So basically the water is going through a settling tank right here. It's like a settling filter. Um, all the big detritus gets pushed to the bottom and we open that up and clean it out every so often. The next water goes through Anybody name what type of filter this might be? With all this media in it. Mm. This is uh, called biomedia. Bio so this is called a biofilter. So what's going on in here is that the fish waste is getting transformed into a product that the plants can uh, eat. So the uh, the fish waste, like ammonia and the bacteria, uh, turns into nitrates. And that's a form of ammonia that the plant can take up from the water. So back here we have two different types of aquaponic systems. Here is a, we call it a media bed, where the water goes up and down, up and down. When the water goes down, the plants get a lot of oxygen. When the water comes up, the plants are getting fed the fertilizer from the water. Okay. Over here, we have a floating raft system. And so what's going on is that basically your plant is floating on top of the water. If you lift this up, you'll see the roots are just uh, hanging out and it's just sucking up the nutrients in the water. And we like to, um, you might see some air stones over there. And so that's helping the plants get air. And as you're looking around, you'll see a lot of different types of plants. That's us doing research to seeing which grows best in a different environment. Do y'all have any questions? They're expanded clay pellets. Clay pellets. Right? So what's your question? I was just asking about the um, I knew I, I had been here before, but I was just wondering what these were. Okay. So, Expanded clay. It's called hydroxin, but it's basically um, kind of like a they heat to it and expand it. And the media Fish tanks. Uh, we don't have any fish in here right now. 
Uh, but then it's coming down after it filters over the fish tanks, it's going through a, call this a mechanical filter. We saw mechanical filters out here, this is just a different form. Um, just the sponge basically, so this gets dirty, we'll rinse it off every so often, it's just taking all the big stuff out of the water. Uh, then it's going to a, um, it's not flowing correctly right now, but this is another biological filter. And so it's similar to um, the plastic media out there, and this is sand, the synthetic sand. And so the more surface area you have, the more area you, area you have for your bacteria to grow. And so this bacteria helps to break down the ammonia and to you know, to form the nitrate. And so that's the um, nitrate is a less toxic form of ammonia, so that our fish will stay alive. Um, so after it's going through there, it's going through a charcoal filter. The charcoal basically is real porous and it's just absorbing any matter in the water that we don't like. It'll just absorb it because it's really porous. And then we have some heaters down there. And so this has what it fish in we get the same temperature? Yeah, it depends on the fish. So we did have some tilapia in here, so we kept it warm from them. Um, this is, system was made for zebra fish, and so I'm not sure. I think. think Zebra fish are tropical, I think. And so it just depends what kind of fish you want to put in here, the temperature that you want it. Um, so it's similar to like, say, similar to like the sun. In outer space, if you if you are in outer space, you can get cancer. If, if you're on a beach, you can get cancer from the sun, right? Same thing. It's like the UV spectrum coming from the sun. It's just just kind of amplified. Here we have the ozone layer on the earth that's helping to protect us. That's why we don't really get too much cancer because we have the ozone layer that's helping to protect us. But uh, it's basically the same type of UV that's coming from the sun. It's at a particular spectrum and then when it hits the, uh, the organism, whether it's a bacteria or a virus, it's just messing up their DNA. And so once it does that, creates dimers in their DNA and they can't replicate like they used to and that's how you keep the bacteria and the viruses down in your system so that they don't cause any diseases to your fish. Yeah so it's um it's coming into the tank and then uh, in the back it's like a gutter in the back and it's flowing all down to this back uh, Oh, See it down there, there. Mm -hmm. and then it's all coming down to the bottom. It's like uh, yeah, in the back of the tanks is the exit, like around here, and that flows into the gutter, and it goes down there and comes back down. It depends on what type of plant you're growing. If you're growing like a rooty plant, like the ginger, then you want to, that type of media is better for, for that type of plant. Okay. On the other side with the floating raft, like the lettuce grows really well in the floating raft. Um, the tomatoes don't grow as well with the floating raft, they grow a little bit better in that media. So it just depends on, on your plant and your location whether the plant is going to grow better in whatever system.